Hi there, uh, this lesson is going to be on certs and uh, the first thing we want to answer is uh, what is a cert? Uh, what is a cert? That is a very good question. Uh, basically, before we understand what certs are, let's define what are rational numbers and irrational numbers. So let's define rational numbers as uh, numbers that can be expressed as terminating or recurring decimals. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, basically uh, just numbers like this for example 3.2 that's it this number is a rational number because the number terminates at the first decimal place uh, if we have something like 3.56 that's also a rational number because it terminates at 0.56. However, uh, oh, also recurring decimals such as 3.44444, which is also 3.4 recurring, that is also a rational number. But if we have something like, let's say, 3.56821304 and it never ends and there is no recurring pattern then it is not rational irrational numbers are oops numbers that are not rational <laughs> such as this one okay you can't ex express it as a terminating or recurring decimal if we have something like a square root of 16 square root of 16 uh, that's just 4 right because 4 times 4 is 16 so therefore this is a rational number okay even though it is a root of a number a rational number is it is not a cert okay because certs have to be uh, irrational so if we have something like uh, 4.35889 So there is no You can't write it as recurring decimals So it is irrational And therefore it is a CERD And uh, this lesson is going to be on how to simplify certs so it is a pretty interesting lesson now let's start by simplifying some simple certs uh, so what about this one uh, square root of 12 Now we know square root of 12 is a third because if you type in the square root of 12 you get an irrational number so it is a third. Now how do we simplify that? Basically we think of two numbers 
that give together that multiply together to give you 12 and that is 4 times 3 now it's pretty amazing uh, this rule that I'm going to show you which says that square root of uh, hang on a second square root of A times square root of B equals the square root of A times B in the same root sign. Now how does that work? Well let's show you some examples. If we have square root of 3 times square root of 5 actually let's do whole numbers. Let's do square root of 9 times square root of 16. Now square root of 9 is the same thing as 3. Square root of 16 is the same thing as 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's try putting 9 times 16 in the same square root sign 9 times 16 and that is the same as uh, let me just cheat for a bit 9 times 16 oops what's this thing doing here 144 four. and square root of 144 is also 12 so that kind of shows you that this rule does work. Uh, another way to show you that this rule works is if you remember index laws. Okay, if we have uh, two terms in a bracket to the same power. So let's say we have AB inside bracket to the power of N is a times n a to the power of n times b to the power of n now using the same rule we can apply it to indices I mean to certs if we have a b to the power of a half and that's a to the power of a half times b to the power of a half which is square root of a times square root of b and that is the square root of AB there. Right? Because uh, x to the power of a half is the same thing as square root of x. Okay, so using the index laws, you can also prove this rule. Okay, now let's get back to this. So we're going to separate this into two indices, I mean, two thirds or two roots since square root of 4 is not really a third uh, so we have uh, square root of 4 is actually a 2 times square root of 3 and we just write that as 2 square root 3 and that's it so that's how you simplify that um, so I give you a bigger one say square root of 28 now try doing this yourself and then we'll come back and check the answer so we're gonna think of two numbers that multiply to give you 28 uh, preferably numbers that you can take a square root of to give you a whole number such as 4 okay so we got 4 times 7 
and then we separate that into two and then square root of four is two times square root of seven now you can even skip this step here and just write from there to there okay simplify write six times square root of fourteen as an entire third All right now entire third is uh, the same thing as uh, what we did before where we just had one root and all the numbers are under that so therefore we do the opposite of what we did before and we change the number 6 into the square root of 36 because 6 times 6 is 36 so square root of 36 times the square root of 14 and then we can put them all under one bracket under one uh, third 36 times 14 504 so we can put it all under one third. Uh, you might also get questions where you have to simplify uh, products of thirds. So simplify. Oops. Uh, 5 square root of 7 times 2 square root of 14 and if you do the number parts first so 5 times 2 is 10 pretty much the same way as you do algebra um, 7 times 14 98 Now, 10 is doing fine on the front, but let's see if 98 can be divided by any uh, square numbers. So let's try 4. Nope. Let's try uh, 9. Well, that's not going to work. 4 times 3, 4 times 4 is 16. Nope. Divided by 2 is 49. Oh! There you go. Should have tried divided by 2 first instead of doing all that. So it's 49 times 2. And then we have. 10 times square root of 49 times square root of 2 square root of 49 is the same thing as 7 so it's 10 times 7 is 70 square root of 2 so we simplify that one okay so uh, are there any addition ones if you get an addition uh, simplify square root of uh, 5 plus 3 times square root of 5 then you can just treat it as an algebra question because right, we can simply just put in uh, replace square root of 5 as x for example if you had x plus 3x that'll just give you 4x so we can just put in 4 square root of 5 there yeah, that's pretty easy uh, so that concludes our quick tutorial on certs hope you have a good idea of how it all works now and see you next time Oh, close the wrong.
ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੇ